Balanced View um, not only gives us a very clear and direct introduction to open intelligence that we just also heard when we stopped thinking and recognized open intelligence, um, <clears throat> it also provides us with, with a complete um, yeah, tool set of really bringing that about, about in our everyday life. And it's so practical in that, that I was really amazed when I came first to um, Balanced View. I, at first I received this clear introduction to um, recognize open intelligence with the tools of the short moments, where we can just relax body and mind completely and recognize open intelligence. And when I came first, I just recognized it like here and there. But that's the key point. Whenever we naturally remember to do so, we recognize open intelligence for a short moment. And we test it out in our everyday life. We stop describing, we allow data to be as it is. But we don't need to stop thinking all the time because the thoughts will come up again. And the key point is to see that um, open intelligence is inseparable from our thoughts, inseparable from our emotions, from all our data streams. That's a key point, a crucial point, because I thought I need to change something with my thought. I need to not have any thought or I need to have good thoughts in order to recognize open intelligence. But here I learned that, wow, it's inseparable, that I can allow it to be as it is and recognize the inseparability of data and open intelligence. Like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. We cannot separate it out. That's how our nature is with our data streams and, and, and open intelligence, inseparable. So that's what we recognize more and more when we take a short moment. So the in, in the beginning, the, the short moments just immediately slipped away. I could take a short moment and then I was off in my description, then analyzing or thinking about things. And then I took another short moment. And it was amazing to see that more and more these short moments, through involving myself in the training and testing it out whenever I naturally remember to do so, these short moments became longer. My capacity to, to recognize open intelligence, open intelligence that is always present already. There's nothing to achieve. We don't need to try to get more open intelligence. We just make um, ourselves familiar and recognize open intelligence in the midst of all data stream. So then basically we train our mind to bring open intelligence in the foreground of our perception. And um, that's what we're doing with the short moment. That's why the short moment is such a practical tool that we can take anywhere we are with whatever we are involved with. Um, if we are working, if we are sitting, eating, we can always take a short moment. And what I found is that there was something about me completely at ease, completely peaceful at all times. That's our true nature. We're, we are meant to be completely at ease despite what comes up in our life. And it will, everything will come, still come up. There's like, all kinds of thoughts, all kinds of emotions. I mean, the whole spectrum of human experience we, will, we, we can experience. It's not about, I, I thought when I, come to, when I came to Balance View, somebody will make sure that I will not experience anymore what I experience, that I will not have these thoughts that I didn't have. But actually it was like I, I was supported in recognizing open intelligence in the midst of that. And that was the key to really empower these data streams that I thought I need to work on, or I need to get rid of. It was in just recognizing their true nature. As simple as that. The, tr the data streams, the nature of all data streams is that they arise, they are hanging out a while, and then they just subside. The nature of all data, all thoughts, emotion, sensation. We cannot hold on to any of those. We cannot get rid of them. We can just allow them to be as they are. Wow, that's so, such a powerful instruction that, that I had no idea of. It's so, it sounded so simple that I thought, this cannot be true. Can it really be true? Is it that simple as just allowing my thoughts to be as it is? What will happen if I let anger to be as it is? Will I act in an unbeneficial way? I had all kinds of these questions, but then I tested it out. What happens when I allow anger to be as it is? Something really magical opened up. Suddenly, I could see clearly in the midst of anger. I could see clearly. I had a whole... Um, possibility to see how I can act that wasn't based from a limited 
data stream of anger only, you know, when we just have that, we see just the anger, but no, from a vast perspective, a balanced perspective on the situation where there wasn't, it wasn't ruled anymore by the data stream that was coming up for me yet. The data stream, I could feel it completely, but then seeing what would be of most benefit and then going for that. We all have the capacity to really act from such a um, vast perspective that includes all the data streams that are coming up, but seeing clearly through them, not being limited by them, not being washed away with the data stream. Oh, I was so often just washed away by data streams that I couldn't see clearly. I couldn't keep this vast perspective when I was lost in the description of the data streams that came up. So the Balanced View Training um, supports us to allow data to be as they are in order to see completely clear, to act beneficially. What, that, that's what we're just, we all have that capacity to be clear. And we all know it deeply that there is something possible like that. Now I thought it's, it needs to, it will look completely different by not having these thoughts and emotions. But it's really about allowing them to be as they are and having them complete clarity. So also in the, the example of money, I mean, I had all kinds of ideas about money and feelings about it. And I feel now such an ease when it comes down to money and clarity and the, and the capacity to really support myself, which, which in, in ways seeing options how I can do that. Because when this data stream came up, not getting lost in them, but rather allowing them to be as they are and then seeing clearly what options I have. And then also not only seeing those so clearly, but having the power also to implement them because the energy that I was used to trying to keep all my data in place suddenly was available to see and, and to implement things. It's amazing. We just have so much more energy when we are not constantly in rearranging our data stream, trying to hold some out of our experience, trying to get more of these ones, trying to rearrange some others. Constantly I was trying to arrange everything in order to feel well. I mean, ma main, mainly it was just to feel at ease. I wanted to be content with myself and that was what I had learned. I need to rearrange them. But now I saw, wow, I was introduced to another way of, of relating to my data stream that was so radical, different, so radical that it was a bit like, whoa, in the beginning, can it really be like that? But then I tested it out. I, said, I just want to try it out. I will give it a shot. I will try that out. And I mean, I was amazed. I was really amazed that it's really possible. It's possible to feel at ease with everything that arises, with money, with grief, with sadness, with love, with, I mean, everything a human being can experience. We can just feel it completely at ease and we see that our well-being is not dependent on outer circumstances, not dependent if I'm in a relationship, not dependent if I have a good job or if I'm in India or if I'm um, at home. Open intelligence shining always forth and that's where, the, the, that's the, where we can really rely on for our well-being. It's always ensured. And then I found more and more that there was a sense of um, okayness and ease within just inseparable from all data streams, where suddenly everything became so much easier. Life became easier and, and light, not heavy anymore. So, you know, like all the thinking I had all this backpack of data streams I need to work on and carry with me all, always and then they were always playing out how when I was relating and everything like we drop it to the ground by each short moment. Free. Free of data stream. Not meaning free of not having data stream but free in the midst of all data stream. That's where the freedom is. Complete freedom. Then we have complete freedom to choose how we want to relate, how we want to be with other people. The data are not anymore in the way. They don't rule anymore how we relate. Open intelligence and the, the benefit of all. That's what that's our guiding principle. That makes life so easy and harmonious living with other people. Not only harmonious and peaceful, but also effective and clear. 
We feel completely grounded and ease, at ease. And um, <clears throat> what I also found very um, beautiful in that is then seeing also other people as open intelligence, really being able to connect with everyone, no matter what was going on for them or came up for them or if they were relying on open intelligence or not, it doesn't matter. The connection as open intelligence is always on. Seeing everything as this beautiful expression of open intelligence, that's what I always wanted. I wanted to feel this intimacy and connection with everyone. Is it with close family members or with a stranger I've never met before? And I couldn't contrive it. I couldn't, even though I had this idea that I wanted to be like that, I could never contrive it. And then just to relying on open intelligence, it's just so natural. Seeing everyone, suddenly no one is a stranger anymore. We feel so connected to everyone. And that's really the beauty, and that's what I'm really so grateful for, this training, to, you know, like, not have any, uh, not follow any ideas and anything, but really connecting of what, what unites us as human beings. Not focusing on the differences, not focusing on that, and, but really what unites us as human beings. That's how we can come together. Always coming back, and that's just such a natural unfolding of of um, when we rely on open intelligence. It just becomes more and more increasingly so. That's what the world needs. We all need to live like that together in this, <coughs> this way of connecting and intimacy. And um, yeah, which, which I'm really like, so, yeah, so grateful for that. And, and um, that I can more and more see the potential in other people. But that's really the, how we can come together for the benefit of all, how we can really use our strengths, gifts and talents to use for the benefit of all. I had no idea before that, I mean, I always thought I don't have anything to offer, any strengths, gifts and talents, and to, through this training to see that more and more clearly and then also how I can really um, bring them about and, and contribute them in such a natural way. Everything is such becomes so natural. Nothing needs to be contrived anymore. We are not anymore needing to hold on to an identity that is like this, that, and the other, we just become totally at ease and seeing that there's nothing to hold on to. We're all perfect as we are. And in that we just thrive and, and, and more and more um, flower in that. And the, the four mainstays just support us to bring that about in our everyday life. And that's also the great thing in the, the four mainstays is that we can use them no matter like no matter where we are in the world and and as much as it, or as little as we like the short, the four mainstays are always available the four mainstays the short practice of short moments a trainer the training we have all trainings online and we have talks for free to download um, from the website books so much media to just and all the media just points us back to open intelligence the sole focus and sole intent of all the, the four mainstays is always pointing us back to open intelligence. And being together with the community, the fourth mainstay is just seeing other people relying on open intelligence is so inspiring and, and shows that we can all do it. That we all, it's really up to each one of us to make, make that change within ourselves, how we perceive our data stream. And that was powerful. We, we, we all have that choice in every moment. That I found very empowering because I always thought I'm, I'm at the whim of all my data stream. I cannot, there's nothing to do other than trying to keep them in place. And now I feel like so empowered to allow them to be as they are, to have really a tool that can really open up all data streams.